Today on Cyborg Hacks, my guest is James Stanger of CompTIA. Now, James is steeped in the requirements of the U.S. Department of Defense's 8140 directive. The whole goal of the 8140 leaders, as set by the, uh, the Department of Defense CIO, is all of these people have to be at an unprecedented level of IT and cybersecurity expertise. And tells us about some of CompTIA's certs that fall under the 8140 purview. It changes all the time, but currently eight uh, certifications okay. that are mapped into 8140, while also providing you with some crucial career mapping skills, especially if you're aiming for a career in the DOD. Think about adjacent job roles. For example, if you get Security Plus, you'll see, I believe it's 20 different job roles that map into Security Plus. And you're like, well, I'm, I don't have 20 different jobs. I have one or maybe yeah. three designations. But once you get Security Plus, then you're like, okay, where can I pivot? That's today on Cyberwork Hacks. The IT and cybersecurity job market is thriving. Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts 377,500 new IT jobs annually. You need skill and hustle to obtain, obtain these jobs, of course, but the good news is that cybersecurity professionals can look forward to extremely competitive salaries. That's why InfoSec has leveraged 20 years of industry experience, drawing from multiple sources to give you, Cyberwork listeners, an analysis of the most popular and top-paying industry certifications. You can use it to navigate your way to a good-paying cybersecurity career. So to get your free copy of our Cybersecurity Salary Guide ebook, just click the link in the description below. It's right there near the top, just below me. You can't miss it. Click the link in the description and download our free Cybersecurity Salary Guide ebook. Your cybersecurity journey starts here. Welcome to a new episode of Cyberwork Hacks. The purpose of this spinoff of our popular Cyborg podcast is to take a single fundamental question and give you a quick, clear, and actionable solution and new insights into how to utilize InfoSec products and training to achieve your work and career goals. So my guest today is James Stanger from CompTIA. That's the Computing Technology Industry Association. Uh, James has joined me on past episodes of both the main feed and the hack. We talked about Data Plus. We talked about Cloud Plus. You're going to see a couple more hacks with uh, James coming up real soon here. So uh, today our hack is specifically concerning the Department of Defense's DOD 8140 directive. So 8140 establishes baseline skills and qualifications for anyone wishing to work in the Department of Defense, uh, as well as the certifications and learning paths they recommend for anyone wishing to work in this space. So uh, if you're DOD bounded or you want to be, this is uh, the episode for you. So thanks for joining me, James. Anytime, man. Anytime. It's great to be here to talk about uh, the U.S. DOD 8140 program. Beautiful. So James, as I said at the top, we're talking about uh, DOD 8140. Um, can you expand a little bit? Uh, did I did I get it right? What what is eighty one forty all about here? You know, uh, it started with the uh, it was created by the United States Department of Defense. It's called the eighty one forty program. It takes the place of the old eighty five seventy program that was in existence mm -hmm. for fifteen years. Eighty one forty uh, started back in uh, well a long time ago, but it finally dropped February of twenty twenty three. For those who want to, and the idea is that the DoD has been asked to give all of its uh, uh, participants, members, you call it what you wish, whether it be a Marine, somebody in the Air Force, Army, Space Force, you get it, right? Mm -hmm. Or contractors to them. The whole goal of the 8140 leaders, as set by the, uh, the Department of Defense CIO, is all of these people have to be at an unprecedented level of IT and cybersecurity expertise. 8140, mm -hmm is really all about things from artificial intelligence through cybersecurity. 8570 was specifically about just information assurance. And so if you, if you were listening to this and you're, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm an IAT, whatever, or whatever, that's gone now. Now it's basically the DCWF job role descriptions and you can be uh, approved or part of three of up to three of those. And yeah. now you have to get either training or certification for that to be compliant. Yeah, well, uh, to that end, um, yeah, you know, one of the things that DOD AUN40 is good at is showing you which certs map to which job roles you might want. So can you talk about some of the CompTIA certs that are approved and matched up to DOD work? You bet. We have currently, and it changes all the time, but currently eight uh, certifications okay. that are mapped into AD140. Whether it be training or certifications, it has to be uh, uh, mapped according to the DCWF job roles as set up. And you can go and just Google this. You can type in DOD 8140 Marketplace. Just Google mm -hmm. that and you'll go to the website. It's run by a company called AVU. And you can then type in 
uh, a job role like security analyst or a pen tester or artificial intelligence or the technical support. And you'll see the job roles come up and then you'll see the approved courses, eight courses, including Network Plus, A Plus, Security Plus, like you'd expect, mm -hmm. CYSA Plus, uh, but also Cloud Plus, Data Plus, mm -hmm. uh, Linux Plus is on its way. I think it's approved already. Uh, so uh, more, uh, more on the way. And you'll see that from various entities as well, not just CompT. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. So you, you, you sort of uh, pointed out some of the, the career paths that listeners might be considering that would match up well with that. So let's, let's kind of put together a, a plan here. Do you have any advice or resources for creating learning pathways for DOD career roles? I mean, you, you said that they kind of walk you through a little bit about that, but like, what are your suggestions for how to sort of change some of these certs in a way that they can build on each other and make you more work ready? You know, when it comes to implementation, I was just, uh, just yesterday, I was uh, in Baltimore uh, mm -hmm. talking to a, a whole gaggle of, of military folks from the mm -hmm. Air Force, Marines, from everywhere. And I sent them to not, not only the 8140 uh, uh, DOD marketplace, but it's also uh, at CompTIA. If you type in CompTIA and 8140, SEO will do the rest. And mm -hmm. you can get right in to a very nice uh, single web page that does a nice overview. And then if you scroll down, you'll see a really cool little uh, uh, chart. And it's better than a chart. It's an actually mm -hmm. interactive uh, little mapping. So you can type in a specific job role or even just use your mouse and click on a specific job role and it maps it right to the certification ah. that you can then take. So it just, it makes it very simple. Yeah, that's nice. I, I, I like that very much. So uh, I guess uh, I want to wrap up here just asking if you have any final thoughts or, or advice because, you know, I, I, we've, we've given you the tools here. And, you know, you can you can see the, the thing happen. But like uh, we talked in our, our previous hack about the tech trifecta and about looking, making sure you're you're checking out all of your options in terms of like, uh, you know, all the available sort of job types, job roles. Do you have any advice on sort of preparing your learning journey under the umbrella specifically of DOD 8140? Think about adjacent job roles. For example, if you get Security Plus, you'll see, I believe it's 20 different job roles that map mm -hmm. into Security Plus. And you're like, well, I'm, I don't have 20 different jobs. I have one or maybe yeah. three designations. But once you get security plus, then you're like, okay, where can I pivot? It's kind of like a hacker, right? Once a mm -hmm. hacker gets into a certain spot, uh, they'll start thinking to themselves, okay, where can I go next? You know, what's the horizon of expectation exactly. that, mm -hmm. or, you know, where I can go next. And think about it that way from, uh, from upskilling yourself. And then you can start saying, well, hey, here's where I can go with CompTIA or with any other entity. Because it's about, you know, where you want to go uh, yeah. and watch what your particular uh, integrator, if you work for an integrator as a contractor, what your integrator needs or, you know, what your particular platoon needs or what your particular uh, division needs. Right. That's, yeah. that's one way to think about. Yeah. Fabulous. Uh, that's 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 great advice. And I, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll leave folks with that. If you know, if you like the idea of like when you're doing a pen test of seeing what what all the different possibilities are from here, like. You know, take the time to do do that with your own career as well. It's uh, it can be similarly, uh, it you know, engaging, and you could lock yourself in you know five hours doing that, and come up with a completely different solution than you expected. So you bet. I knew one guy who uh, started uh, uh, as he was an artillery person. He ran the artillery, right? He noticed mm -hmm. that the artillery was running a bunch of embedded Linux, meaning you know, in that artillery device, he could tell the through the screens that it was Linux, and he decided, well, I'm going to learn more about that. And that person now does a lot of work with operational technology because that use, mm. operational technology uses various operating systems, including right. Linux. That was where he decided to go. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely worth uh, worth exploring. That's that's great. So thank you, uh, as always, for all this great advice, James. I really appreciate your insights today. Uh, and thank you all for watching Cyborg Hacks. If you enjoyed this video and felt that it helped you, tell someone about it. A friend, a colleague, your social media connections, anyone you like. Word of mouth is still the best way to make a community like this grow. Uh, and if you haven't, just please subscribe to our podcast feed and our YouTube page. You can go to infosecinstitute.com slash podcast to see the full list. You can go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get some uh, some free resources. Uh, or just type Cyberwork Infosec into your preferred search engine and, and we'll, we'll pop up either way. Uh, and sign up for notifications and auto-download of episodes because Cyborg Hacks is coming out every other Thursday now with new bite-sized answers to your questions. Until next time, keep learning, keep developing your skills, and have fun. Mm -hmm.